Hi folks, Fusion 360 dining room table. So a buddy wanted us to fab up a base for a wood tabletop he made and he wasn't sure the thickness of the tubing he wanted to use. And this is awesome. Take a look. New component. Table top. I'll do sketch. Rectangle, center rectangle. On this plane and his dimensions were 49 which is going to be huge by 120 big table inch and a quarter thick e for extrude 1.25 now cool thing hit a for appearances notice this pulls up i expand down here to wood finished and it was in maha it was a walnut that's right why isn't it there here walnut glossy click and drag that over to the material and take a look we get this wood grain structure so it's it's okay here where it's awesome is if you go into render and I'm gonna include a card right here so if you want to learn more on rendering they did a good fusion tutorial video on it um, what we're after today is the frame new component frame our actually center rectangle and it'll be underneath the tabletop and I'm going to sketch two center rectangles like so now modify change parameters user parameters name tubing for short and I'll just say for now it's two inches Click OK, OK. D for dimension. I want the thickness between here and here to be tubing. Here to here. Now I can actually just click this. It'll link it back the same way. And then how far out from the side of the table? It's up to the customer, but we'll just do seven and a half inches all around. And because we did a um, center rectangle that all stays parametrically linked. E for extrude, click the frame. How far do we want to extrude it? Tubing. Click OK. Build the rest of it. I'm going to stay in uh, the same component because this would be welded together, so I'm going to treat it as one component. R for rectangle. Click on this face right here. Um, so I like using the constraint, so I'm going to sketch it out of place intentionally and then Collinear this, collinear to that. And I'll do a rectangle inside of here. Distance here to here, tubing. You could have done a center rectangle, actually, it would have saved you a couple dimensions. Um, actually, I'll show that. So undo that. L for line. Do a line across this. Click it once and hit X to turn it into a construction line. Center rectangle. See how it locks to the center. Drag it out. Dimension this tubing. And dimension. Oops. And dimension that tubing. E for extrude. I want to extrude the perimeter tubing, and but it's the other way, so negative tubing. <laughs> Same thing on the other side. It's actually easier because I can snap to the existing one. We're done. And then he wanted a bar down the center of the base. So R for rectangle. See, I'm going to do this right here. So I'm going to sketch a rectangle see here out of place and I'm gonna put a point on the midpoint and I should get a natural point there so I can now do coincident constraint from here so I can't get I don't get it there so I have to add a point no big deal let it snap to there we go now I can do coincident here to here. So collinear here 
to here and the dimension, the thickness of that tubing. E for extrude, tubing, oh, negative. Oh, so it did a cut, totally fair, no big deal. Right click on it, edit, change it from a cut to a join, click OK. Activate our assembly component of the top thing and you can now see we've got this frame built. We could even actually add a um, black metal aesthetic to the frame if you wanted to. Uh, here is the cool thing. This is what I think is just so friggin' awesome. Save it real quick. Modify, change parameters, change this to three. Watch, click OK. Boom. And I sent the customer a short video and I showed them a two inch, two and a half and three inch. And they could see and understand what that's going to look like. I just think that's so cool. And I made this in, uh, I made it in seven minutes here and I, I like to go a little faster even on my own. So I thought that was really cool and good. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Take care. See you next Friday.